Hi everybody, welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt and this is The Changelog. The Changelog is a series where I look at some of the updates to my favorite apps, tell you what I think is cool about them and how you may get value from them. Today we're doing a double header where I'm looking at drafts and carrot weather and I wanted to talk about both of these. So it's one episode, twice the apps, that means I have half the time to talk about each. Let's jump into it. So let's start with drafts. Drafts is a great app for writing, for note taking, for creating a personal wiki. It does everything. It's a really, really great app. I've been using it for years and I love it. But it is limited in that it syncs over iCloud, so you need to be logged into your iCloud account on any device you want to sync with. That's not going to be the case for every device maybe in your life. Whether it be an Android phone, a Windows device, a work computer, you're going to be signed into different accounts or drafts just simply won't be there. And sometimes you want to get an idea into drafts anyway. And that's where Drafts Capture comes in. Drafts Capture is a new feature on the web where you can go to capture.getdrafts.com and enter things into drafts. <laughs> so it's a pretty simple interface. You don't see like your entire drafts uh, collection or anything. You can't see what you've already written, but you can capture ideas and put notes into drafts using this interface. So you can write a note, uh, it's basic text, uh, but you can choose the syntax that drafts will use once you get to the app itself. You can add tags to it, you can flag it or not, and you can throw your location on there if you'd like. All of this is possible and then it quickly syncs. It syncs super, super quickly over to drafts. You can see that happening now and it's just great. It's really, really works well for these instances where for me personally, maybe I'm working, uh, just doing my thing, I want to save something, it's in my clipboard on my work computer, I want to get it into my personal area. How do I do that? Drafts Capture makes that possible really easily. So a nice little new feature. I'd love to see a full web interface for Drafts one day, but this is a good step in the right direction. And then the next update is to Carrot Weather. Carrot Weather is my favorite weather app, and as of its latest version, its 5.0 release from a couple months ago, it's one of my favorite iOS apps full stop. Now, one of the cool things they released in version five is this kind of build your own weather app feature where you can combine different elements to get exactly the weather interface you want. And this is why I love the app. But they've added some new features to that. They've made it easier to preview your changes before you save them. So that's really nice. It was a little more um, annoying to go back and forth previously. It wasn't terrible, but they've made it better. And they've also added some new options. So if you wanna see tides, you can see the tide level in your main screen and more significantly and more expensively, uh, you can also see radar on the main screen. So previously you would have to go to a second tab in the app to see the radar. Now you can put that on your main screen, but there is a catch. You do have to pay for one of the more expensive premium tiers of Carrot Weather, and that's the $8 a month or $30 a year plan, which is pretty expensive and is actually more than I pay for uh, Carrot Weather right now. So. I can't even show it to you, uh, but it does look like it could be cool. It looks like it's going to be nice. I just can't show it to you because I haven't been able to justify the money yet. But if you are in one of those more expensive tiers, you can use that right away. And finally, they've also added some new font choices. So you can use San Francisco Rounded, which I think is the default, or Normal San Francisco, or Avenir, or uh, New York. Or if you're feeling really terrible, you can make it Papyrus. So they threw Papyrus in there because Carrot Weather is, well, Carrot Weather is evil. And so definitely do it. You'll get, uh, you should definitely try it. I won't tell you why, but you should definitely give it a shot. Make your weather app look horrible for a few seconds and then change it back to something more reasonable. But yeah, those are the updates to Carrot Weather. So that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, this series is not sponsored. The app developers have no idea these videos are getting made. I'm just talking about apps that I really enjoy and I think you guys will enjoy as well. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you here next time. Bye-bye.